Hello Darcizzle Nation and welcome to Darcizzle Offshore. In today's tropical fishing adventure, Darcizzle and Pudding go inshore fishing and hit pay dirt in a spot they pass every single day but never tried before. Stay tuned until the end when I wrap up the day's events with a valuable lesson to help you catch more fish. So let's get this party started with the star of our show, Darcizzle. What's up guys? Darcizzle here. It's a little bit of a cold morning in South Florida, inshore fishing on our flats boat today. Hooked up to the first fish. I've been fishing a while now with not a lot of luck and I just got a big nice bite on the bottom with my artificial bait. Doing a big circle. Urgh. Nice. Hey. Broke off the skunk finally. That's a nice little, that's a nice size Jack Caval actually. And he's all lit up, he's really gorgeous. He's got greens on him, bright yellows. Get my muscles pumping and the blood flowing. Hopefully we'll catch some bigger fish here. But that's a solid fish for this area. I really can't complain about that. Sweet. So maybe the bite's picking up now. So like I said, we've been out here almost an hour with not a lot of luck, but first fish of the day. We also got live shrimp with, with, with us. So we're gonna be trying a variety of methods today to catch fish, but broke the skunk. Moonfish, guys. Another fish on the menu. I think the bite is starting to turn on at this spot. Finally, pretty happy. I'm just gonna get this line back in the water. He's a little bit on the small side. I'm gonna release this fish. He is a keeper, but I'm not gonna keep him. I could eat him if I wanted to, but I'm gonna do the right thing and release this fish. He actually inhaled my artificial lure, so I gotta try to get that out of his mouth real quick. Let him go. What's up guys, Puddin's back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Brian. Darcy and I fish together. She's right here. <laughs> But, you know, the bite kind of slowed down. We tried a couple different things at the spillway and some docks. And we never fished this big bridge, so we decided to try it. So uh, we're going to throw some shrimp under this bridge and, uh, and kind of see what happens. Let's hit it. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> got, you got to mix it up out here and see what, see what, you, can, uh, what you can catch. Fish on. Nice. Hooked up, guys. Ooh, this fish is feisty. Hooked up, and I got rigged up with a weight, with a weighted jig to get it down on the bottom, and I just hooked up on a nice snook. I just saw him. Sweet. Oh, beautiful. See if I can just flip him in and not lose him. You wanna grab that lip? I'm trying to keep it tight. It's a big old hole. Good job, pudding. Grab him, grab him. Grab that fish. Woo! Hold on to him. Nice. That's a solid snook. Let me just pop this jig head out. That just fell right out. That is a beautiful snook. It is snook season right now. They have to be in a certain slot range and this guy is too short to keep, but beautiful to fight that fish on a slow fishing day. And in general, it's just slow, but you never know what you're gonna catch. There's zero current right now, which is pretty shocking that I caught this pretty sweet fish. Um, just pitching the structure right here at this bridge. Let's just get a quick measure on the Sea Deck ruler. And he is basically 24 inches long. And a keeper has to be a minimum of 28 inches long and a maximum of 32 inches long in our particular area. So always look up rules and regulations for a different species of fish, but nice snook. Broke the snook skunk off today too. Yay. Now I'm really excited to fish the rest of the bridge and see what else we can catch. He's ready. Let go, let go. Here we go. You're free. Sweet release. All right. So I'm basically using a yellowtail, a snapper jig head. I gotta actually re-rig right now because he frayed it pretty good. Snook always fray it and it's a twisted mess. But you can see that this is a snapper or yellowtail jig head and it's got a little weight on it and I'm using a live shrimp and I also just got snook thumb. So we're off to a good start fishing this particular bridge. So let's see what else we can catch. Gotta get re-rigged, it's all frayed. Next fish is going to probably not eat it 
And if it does eat it, it's going to break. Dog snapper. Uh, it's either a dog snapper or a schoolmaster snapper. I'm gonna look them up again right now, but that is a beautiful fish. Heck yeah. Look at the mouth. The mouth looks a little bit like a uh, um, was fish in the keys. Yeah, I thought for first for a second, I honestly thought it was a um, mutton snapper because he was so colorful and with the stripes on him, but that is a solid snapper for dinner, baby. Heck yeah. Dude, that's a freaking stud. How come there's no water here? I'm asking you the whole time what's wrong with the well. You put the bubbler on? Does that have an effect? Yeah, I must do the bubbler. Yeah, I gotta turn that off. Oh, it felt a lot bigger. I'll take it, I'll take it. Dinner! He might not be dinner. <laughs> it's the same exact kind of snapper that Brian just caught a short while ago. It looks like a mangrove. This is not a mangrove. Right. Mangroves are much darker. I grew up catching mangroves, so I know what mangroves look like. I'm pretty confident that's not a mangrove. They're very similar, but he's, oh, his right. color is off. Right. He's right. not a mangrove, yeah, on his nose. And he's fatter and whiter. Like, you can see, like, wide. Like, he's really wide. Um, I need to I need to look it up again. I don't know, but he's pretty small. He's going to get released. All right. I'm just going to measure him really quick on the accurate sea deck ruler. We have a couple rulers on the boat just to make sure. He's actually right over 10 inches long, which could be a keeper. I just need to confirm exactly what species he is. And then uh, he's either going in my grizzly cooler or he's getting released right now. You can get the bubble plates. You gotta help me with this blood. Another beautiful day in sunny South Florida, guys. Great day. It's February 15th. Yeah, and it's bikini weather Look right at now. This. <laughs> Finally, go. some bikini weather in the afternoon, and it's warming up. And the next week is going to be very nice and warm. Sorry, I cannot see. The sun's right now. And, it's so uh, sunny. Yeah, and we're going to New York, so I got a lot to do. Guys, maybe help us ID this fish, maybe show it to them up close. But I'm trying to figure out what it is, and I believe it's a gray snapper. It's a keeper either way. And then we got a beautiful dog snapper, and that is a solid, solid fish. So we got dinner, can't complain. Fresh Woo. dinner, inshore fishing, didn't expect that today. Drinking a land shark lager, this is my breakfast. Sitting on a grizzly cooler. Yeah, chilling, <laughs> hanging out. So and... I think, I think the, the, but the, the goal of today, or the lesson is, you gotta try all kinds of different spots. We had never caught this big a snapper Right. In, in in intercoastal in Boyden ever. Right. And we tried the bridge. Right. And we caught some monsters and some dinner and it's been great. Yeah. No, I mean, like like he said, like Brian caught all that dog that dog snapper and he caught this snapper too. I have never seen this species of snapper. So and I've been on the water for a long time. So it, that's the cool thing about fishing, is you just never know what you're gonna catch, even on a slow day of fishing. <laughs> and and, and um, the shrimp was awesome. Yeah, as and the always. shrimp worked out and that's where we caught those snapper came on the shrimp, thanks to Brian. So he caught us dinner today. All right, so we're going to New York. We're back next week on the salt water. Yep. And let's wrap it up. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Anything that you need information on, check the, the description down below. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Sweet. Come on. There he goes. Roly poly.